Now, in the past, I have recommended that you use uh, default devices for the speaker and mic, but we're going to get into slow scan TV or some other uses of the virtual audio port. You have to change these things. So let me come down here and I'm going to change. I'm going to disconnect first here. A disconnect, and yes, I want to disconnect the radio. And then you can come down and you can look at the settings. Now, instead of default device drivers, I'm going to, for the speaker, I'm going to use, uh, in one case here, I'm listening on my earphones, the speaker jack, so I guess I'll stick it here. And then for the microphone, I have this uh, white USB device that I plugged the microphone in. And I'm going to say OK to that. And now you see the speaker and the microphone are a little bit different. I reconnect to the radio, connect. And uh, now when I go over here and I take a look at the connect set, I do want to make sure that it's a version 1.2, 7300 USB. And that name right there has to line up with that name over here. And then the COM port 117C, 117C, virtual audio three or nine, the virtual audio nine, everything looks good. So you can then say, uh, okay. Now we come over here and we connect and uh, that's when things start to happen. So what we're going to see here is that I am now on uh, 7.205 and I'm going to take a look at the scope. Let me bring the scope over here so we can see it. And then I am on lower sideband. So let me go ahead and, uh, and transmit. Testing one two three four four three two one, and you can see that we are actually going out over the air. Now I'm doing this at no power. This is the lowest possible power, and you can check your audio by running your radio at the lowest power. And you can set compression on and off. If you set the compression on, uh, things might look a little different. One two three four four three two one, and let me turn the compression off. And this is more raw audio, not quite so full of uh, compression. So that's step number one in order to get, uh, let me turn the transmitter back off again, in order to get this to work properly with your uh, uh, slow scan TV, instead of using these defaults as I've done on my second radio, you're going to want to tell it specifically which speaker because when you go to listen to what's going on that this radio is hearing, you're actually going to be listening on this virtual audio port, which is a two-way port. It can both listen and transmit depending on whether the radio is in receive or transmit mode. And what you don't want it to do is to pull the microphone away from the mic jack on your uh, RSPA1 or to remove the speaker. But you do want the virtual audio to be there in order to monitor what the radio is hearing, which we'll see in a minute, is necessary in order to properly listen to the uh, listen to the slow scan TV signal and have it get properly decoded. So that's step one. You've got to set those speaker and mic audios correctly. This is Jeff, W6FCC, part one.